Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, everything turns a shade of pink on FIBA 23 Ultimate Team with footies finally arriving. It's one of the biggest promo Fridays of the year. We'll talk everything related to the market, SBCs, objectives, what you should expect today on FIFA, and a couple things that may even surprise us on this game today. So if you're excited for footies, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe to the channel. We started everything off with footies with a couple footies cards being dropped yesterday in season objectives, guys. I want to go through this really fast. I know a lot of you have looked through it already. You know what's in here, but just to kind of overview it really quickly before we get into today's content and what to expect today, Ryan Kent, technically our first available footies card, dropped yesterday a premium item, decent stats, five star, five star. That's what I'm noticing about all these cards here in the season objectives. And I think that's what we're going to be seeing a lot of with the footies dropping today and in the future is a lot of five star, five star, a lot of traits being added and a lot of really insane stats because this takes end game to a whole new level. Now, personally, is Kent worth taking here? That's up for debate. We'll see where we're at when we get to level 20, maybe in a week or two, or maybe hopefully Hopefully just less than two weeks. It doesn't take that long to get through this season campaign. I know the objectives and the XP started off a little bit slow yesterday. A lot of people that do have EA play are a bit ahead with that extra XP boost that you can get through that. But it is a little bit slow going. But that's usually how these start. Now, get spicy at level 30 with Diogo Jota. Five star, five star here. High, high work rates. Man, I have to I have to say the premium footies card design is miles clear of the regular footies one. Especially just the way this Jota looks versus the way like the, the Ryan Kent just looked. But that's another great card. Also an 84 times 30. Tough choice there. At level 30. Level 35, it's all about the 85 times 10. And then level 40. Everybody's talking about this card. This is insane, man. It might be the best season progress player we have ever had. I know that it's a five-star, five-star, 99 pace, 99 dribble, Vinny. So it's like, how does it get any better than this? Yes, I know it's the end of July, and we're probably not going to be able to get this card until middle of August, right? It's probably going to be four or five weeks from now until we can get this card, but that is just insane, right? GG is to EA. Absolutely incredible card um, right there. And there's a little surprise here at the end. Level 41, if you guys are wondering... Where is the Dala kit at? Where, how do I get that kit to do the objective and milestones for the level 41 bonus? That is where it is. Level 41, once we get there, I like it. A little bit of extra fodder packs for a very, very easy objective grind to get yourself an 85 times 10 and some good packs along the way. I love that from EA. It's like you get to level 40, but there's a little bit extra there. So that's a little bit more incentive, incentive to grind through the rest of the um, season, this upcoming footies kind of 41 days that the season is going on also foot champs rewards as expected they were upgraded to include shapeshifter cards and guys that's going to impact the market today for sure as tradable shapeshifters are going to be put onto the market and supplied once again from rank three and above and of course they're in the player picks as well now one thing from last year is they actually didn't come out as red shapeshifters as like red foot champs versions they actually showed as regular shapeshifter card designs in what we know as red picks. So I will see if that happens today. It might because there's no new car design that has been added. So watch out for that. Also yesterday, we had a Josalu player SBC. Not a bad card. Uh, Real Madrid links and a pretty cheap price coming in, I believe, if I check Footbin right around. I guess it's not that cheap, but 100,000 coins. Maybe a little bit of Real Madrid tax. Four star, five star, six foot four. Easy to get done with high rated. And there's going to be plenty of high rated coming out today in packs guys we're going to talk a lot about it so that was an okay sbc yesterday other than that the season progress really stole the show now let's talk about today footies friday right we have a loading screen that's the kind of the only news that we have about cards we're getting today and it doesn't even tell us that much this is one of the least revealing loading screens we've had in a long time one player with 95 dribble and five star skill moves and one player with a five star weak foot and 99 shooting there's a lot of conversation around who this premium card is going to be cristiano ronaldo Lionel messi could it be somebody else right i mean there's just so many opportunities for who that card could be I would imagine that we get both of these cards today, guys. I, I would imagine we get them both. They also both might be in SBCs. If I remember correctly, last year on the first Friday of footies, we had a Luis Diaz and I think we had a Rodrigo DePaul, both on day one. Luis Diaz with a premium and DePaul was the non-premium normal footies card. So that's just kind of going off of last year. There might be two SBC players today. One of these could also be objectives. And of course, 
I would expect a lot of content to be dropped today related to footies, guys, in SBCs and objectives. Of course, in packs, we don't expect to see any footies cards. That's not ever how footies has been run. They could change it, but we're not expecting that for today. Other potential content that we could see today, right? What does footies always bring us, right? Player voting, right? Weekly votes where we get to choose on the players that are going to end up getting footies SBC players. I love this. This is one of the favorite parts about footies every single year, and it better continue. So watch out for a player vote today via a player pick, um, probably with loan items, and then we'll end up seeing who wins a couple days later, and then they'll give us the SBC. So hopefully we get some of that today. Uh, the footies favorites SBCs are just kind of the random SBC players that they drop throughout the promo. And then, of course, uh, a weekly cup. A weekly cup is very, very possible. Um, it's been very common during, you know, level up cup that we had this last week or a shapeshifters, right? Cups have been very prevalent this year. A lot of friendly mode grind there. So I would expect to see something along those lines. Maybe it's not this week. Maybe it's further down the line, but I would expect to see some sort of a cup. And then here's a little bit of a tease because a car design was added to the code yesterday for heroes, footies, heroes, guys. This is an official car design added to the code. Sahil Criminal on tw uh, Twitter tweeted this, but he said it's courtesy of Foot Scoreboard, who always tweets out the car designs when EA adds them to the code. So this is not like a leak. This is like this is a car design that's going to be in the game, whether it's today, whether it's next week, in the coming weeks of footies. We don't know. But wow, heroes getting upgraded. It needed to happen, right? And then, of course, he put out another tweet saying, imagine some of these heroes getting upgraded. You know, this is just all concept. This is not elite, guys. But hopefully, just about all of the heroes that we have in this game will be able to get one last end game card. That could be really cool and maybe really fun to do through SBCs and through objectives and, and grind it out. So there's a lot of hype with that potential building right now. But for today, we don't know. And right now, it is just a card design that's been added to the code. And hopefully, that means some nice spiced up hero cards to come. Now, everybody wants to know what's going to be in packs today, man. Like, you've got uh, upgrade packs that I've been saving, you know. I even saved a healthy amount of packs here just because um, I'm interested to try to craft SBCs today. And there's a great SBC to route the 80 plus players pack. If you want to save and put, build some upgrade packs for today, that is the pack that I would tell you to build. 81 plus player picks are fun as well, but the value is so much better with the three player packs and these cards are about the golds on the market are about 500 coins so they're rising a little bit as people are getting excited today well yesterday it was a mistake i believe on ea's part but we actually kind of know what's going to be in packs right we always talk about a best of with footies that is what happened last year as a part of um the re-releases where they put old special cards back into packs we've known this we've talked about this but ea that pack that was added to the code a while back that was going to give out a footies best of batch one player on a 99 game loan, that actually dropped yesterday for those, I think it was PlayStation only users, and I think it was also uh, if you have EA Play, obviously it's called the EA Play pack, so we got to actually see some of the cards that are going to be in packs today, and guys there were, it's, it's going to be disappointing it is every single year, and that's what we've been trying to prepare your guys' expectations for uh, we packed like Vardy um I heard of people packing like Aspilicueta. I heard of heard of people packing ones to watches, right? The cards that are going to be re-released in packs today are going to be from older promos from throughout the earlier parts of this year. Maybe some of the World Cup promos, maybe Fantasy Foot. Basically stuff from Team of the Season and before. I doubt today we're going to see many Team of the Season cards in packs, but we should see some Team of the Years. And these prices, of course, on these cards have already started to drop. But guys, I'm telling you, they're going to drop any card that is re-released back into packs today is going to get destroyed, especially on some of the cards that still maintain a decent amount of value. Last year, we had Ronaldo, Team of the Year, Mbappe, and Messi all in packs. This year, I would imagine Messi, Mbappe, and I'm not entirely sure who else. Maybe Benzema they put in. Maybe they put in Militao or Hakimi, right? There's going to be some Team of the Years in packs today. Also, there's been news that has been reported that a Team of the Year icon Pirlo was packed out of that very pack that I just showed you, that 99 game match alone. That means that a Team of the Year Pirlo and maybe other promo icons from Foot Birthday, from Team of the Year, uh, maybe even Trophy Titans could be in packs today. Same thing with Heroes. That's a nice thing about the Heroes and Icons being promo cards this year is that it looks like EA is going to consider them as also a part of the best of re-release today. So this is going to impact the market. 
a lot. And some of you guys are like, Nate, I mean, isn't that an L? Doesn't that mean that maybe some of my players, if I want for my team that are shapeshifters or maybe level up cards that I want to go and grind from team two, should I be going and buying those on the market right now? Potentially, but there's a lot to come kind of break down like guys today's going to be such a wild day on the market cards are going to be all over the place you're going to have cards that are re-released in packs like the team of the years we were just talking about or even if like let's say zlatan centurion gets re-released back into packs today this card uh actually zlatan is another name that people think might be that card on the loading screen imagine a 99 shot premium uh, version of a five star five stars lot time like that oh that would be an insane card as well nonetheless but uh this is a card that could be re-released back into packs today and those cards are going to get absolutely destroyed they're going to get panic sold into content today but they're going to drop even lower don't mess with many of those because they're just going to be headed to the bin now let's talk about shapeshifters because there's some interesting movements with these cards as well right these cards are some of the most meta, popular, and up-to-date special cards in this game. And the thing with these is, they're going to be very heavily in demand as people go out and buy cards for their teams today. I think a lot of people are going to see the cards that are in packs for like the best of, right? When some of these older promos from earlier on in the year being included, like Winter Wild Cards and Team of the Tournament, World Cup Phenoms. Maybe you have some more recent ones like Foot Birthday, Future Stars shown off in that batch as well. But for some people, that's gonna be like, oh man, there's not that really great of cards and packs except for a lot of fodder, which is still cool to an extent. And it does make it worth opening packs to do all of the footies SBCs. But last year, guys, on this footies Friday, I made tons of coins trading with shapeshifters, team of the season cards, and the most recent promo cards as people went back out to buy teams to play the weekend league. So I do believe there could be some more panic selling on shapeshifters and on the rest of the market heading into content today, especially with the shapeshifters, because they're, like we mentioned in the beginning of the video, they're going to be getting supplied tradable on the market today from weekend league rewards guys yes there will be demand for these but there will also be some supply think of it as like shapeshifters are kind of back in packs a little bit of course you guys like you know um i don't even know like toko akami is a 92 plus or Geraldo becker as a 94 they're gonna get packed a lot more than rudiger depai vvd and guys like mares those guys are not gonna get packed that much but these are the types of cards that if I was trying to trade and make coins today or specifically buy for a certain point, because I'm trying to go out and buy players for my team, those are cards that I would look to buy today um, right around the content drop time, see what we get for content, and then go out and maybe pick a couple of those up because they could be falling in the morning before we get to the actual content release as well. So those cards are going to be a good watch today. And then also, guys, the level up cards. We're going to talk about those a little bit at the end of the video. It's a very interesting day for level up cards from Team 1 and from team two. So be cautious today if you're looking to buy cards from your team. I would just say make sure that the content today that they drop is not like super crazy insane, but I think after that, there's probably a green light to go and buy a few cards from the most recent meta promo teams like Shapeshifters or maybe even a level up card for your team so that you can go and play the weekend league for those brand new rewards because there is weekend league demand, right? People are going to be getting on FIFA today and playing this game because footies always brings the hype and also there's new weekend league rewards, right? And also, like we said, people might be a bit disappointed by the cards that are in packs. And since the, the focus of this promo is really the SBC players, there's going to be a lot of hype around what is in SBCs. Now, also, this is where I think we could really be surprised today is two SBCs that we had last year, right? We're not done talking about footies. You're like, Nate, really? Just two SBC players? Maybe one is an objective, and then we're talking about all the market? No, no, no. There's more. And here it is. Last year, EA, on the first day of footies, dropped two massive player pick SBCs, and they were super cheap. I don't know if you guys remember this. The footies player pick which earned one of three footies batch one player so people were grinding this trying to pack guys like the team of the year messi team of the year ronaldo and i think it was either unlimited repeatable or you could do it like 10 times a day and the same thing with this premier league bag campaign bag player pick earn one of three premier league foot birthday fantasy foot foot captains team of the season or shapeshifter players so those team of the season and shapeshifter cards were included in this player pick and man i'm telling you what there was a lot of people doing this sbc as well and fodder really 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 moved right all of you guys that are maybe saving up a few packs today you're not just trying to pack 
those old lower rated promo cards from older promos and stuff like that for fodder you're trying to pack fodder as well so that you can go and do these types of SBCs that give you a pretty good shot at maybe packing one of those team of the years that's re-released into packs or a player pick like this that would give you the opportunity to maybe pack a shapeshifter like a Joao Felix or a Ugo Uriz. I don't know if they're going to do the same thing again this year guys but this is one thing that made the market go absolutely crazy last year and it brought so much hype to footies. I really hope they do this again because it was phenomenal. Now, we're talking about SBCs. We got to talk about fodder as well. As we've mentioned all week, yesterday, Wednesday, great time to sell your higher rated fodder. I think 88 and above specifically because what do we think today is going to happen again? All those older promo cards that are getting re-released are going to bring the market down of fodder. It's just going to be like team of the season where all the team of the season cards drop the high rated fodder prices because they were high rated cards and they got supplied so much. I expect that to happen today. But if we get these types of player pick SBCs, last year what happened when we got them was high rated fodder was going down even with like the Luis Diaz that we had and other footies player SBCs low rated fodder because of these player picks went up a ton guys i'm telling you right now 84s at 2000 coins these have been so low for like the last what two weeks i mean when was the last time that 84s were above 4k like it's been it's been a month since the last time these guys hit 5000 coins they have been very very low for so long 2,000 coins for these guys. If you want to do a little bit of a club stock, maybe if we see the SBCs come out today, this would be a place to go and invest right away if you see that, or if you want to buy a couple ahead of time, just to have some fodder in the club. 83s, 84s, and 85s. I think it's going to be just like during team of the season, guys. That's the rating of fodder. 86s as well, potentially. That's the rating of fodder that we're going to be needing to watch through this next week because everybody's going to be packing high-rated promo cards and have duplicates. What are they going to go do? They're going to go do SBCs, and they're going to fill in the rest of those squads with... 84s and 85s so this is the area of the fodder market i would tell you guys to watch out for today and also heading into this week they could be moving big once again and they could be really good to invest in or at least to stock into your club to get ahead of the game just a little bit before everything goes down today guys the biggest part of today is obviously the footies players though these need to be massive players whether it is messi or ronaldo um, the premium card needs to be good. The other card needs to be good as well. And there needs to be a vote. And just like the footies players need to be flowing. Last year, they were flowing every single week. We were getting players like every single day or voting to kind of get another player upcoming soon every single day. So they need to have a lot of players coming out over this next couple weeks of this promo. And it hopefully starts with a bang today with all of that. Now, we're going to talk about one more thing with a sp specific part of the market with some specific cards. And yes, it is the level up, guys. Because these level ups, especially from Team 1, we're talking about guys like Renato Sanchez, Kevin De Bruyne, Timo Werner. Look at these prices right now, guys. How much is Renato? Oh my gosh, 1.8 mil. Renato is down bad a lot of these cards are getting panic sold once again it's even worse than it was last night because the objective is going away the objective goes away today guys and you no longer can upgrade alfonso davies timo Werner, and all these other cards to their higher rated version well these cards will still be on the market and they're still pretty good cards guys like this is the best version of alfonso davies in the game and he's only 200,000 coins or i look at the timo Werner card i look at the quality of this striker I know he's, you know, not the best in terms of links. If you run like a Premier League team, yeah, we had the Jamie Vardy just recently, but a four-star, five-star Timo Werner with these stats for 80K, that's pretty cheap. The Enzo Fernandez, um, you know, I would even throw the Renato Sanchez. I think the Renato Sanchez needs to drop some more today. Uh, his Tots card is it's crazy, crazy cheap, but this card is a lot more rare than his team of the season. It's a cooler card design, and uh, it's an insane card. I would say this. Be very careful these level ups. I think there's a time for the Team 1 cards. I'm thinking exactly for Enzo Fernandez, Timo Werner, Alfonso Davies, um, and then Renato. Um, who else? Renato and KDB. There might be an opportunity, maybe even Cavani as well. There might be an opportunity at some point today or this weekend to invest in some of those. And maybe even from the level up team too, because these cards are going out of packs, but a lot of people are still going to want to grind the objectives. So... Last Friday, a lot of the Team 1 cards from Level Up dropped during the weekend. That might happen with Level Up Team 2 this weekend, so be careful with that. But... 
there also might be some really good investment opportunities. Now, I'm not going to be buying too many of these cards unless it's for just a quick flip. Um, again, I don't know how this is going to go down. And it's just, it's crazy, right? We've never seen anything like this before. But, you know, I'm definitely going to be following these cards today just to see where they move and where they go because I'm super interested to see how many people still value those cards on the market. Even though you can't upgrade them, they're still pretty solid cards. So we're going to watch the market a lot today. But really, what the most important thing is today on this game is dev footies spc players they've got to be good players they've got to be decent prices which they usually are and that's where the hype comes from for this promo but i hope that ea delivered today guys and i know you do as well so stock up a few packs if you want to get some extra fodder today today the packs are going to start looking real fun all right you're going to see a lot of colors and that's why people really really love the footies promo i've saved up some of these like 80 plus packs 82s 83 pluses i even have an 85 times seven so uh, we're really excited for that. I think there also is um, maybe the Icon SBC refreshes today as well. Got to mention that. The 90 plus Brazil, France, and uh, the Dutch Icon upgrade, which I have not done. I think that might refresh today too. So watch out for that. There are some other SBCs that are expiring today in terms of player SBCs. Um, I don't know if anything else is refreshing though. Let me go really quick back here to back and check. Uh, the daily login goes away. Maybe there's a daily login for footies. Who knows? Um, other than that, nope, looks like a lot of this stuff is expiring. A lot of the level up cards are expiring as well. And it's footies day today, guys. And I'm super duper excited for it. We'll be live streaming. That link is down below in the description. If you want to hop in on the Twitch live stream about an hour or so before content, we'll be getting ready, watching the market and getting ready for a big day of footies. Exciting day today, guys. Come join the stream with us. We'll have a lot of fun. But if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan Foot Account. Catch you guys there. Peace.